Every month, we pick one lucky commenter and subscriber from all of our unboxings, and they win a £100 on Tabletop gift card. And remember to click that little bell, because that really helps us out. Hi everybody, it's Joshua from On Tabletop. I'm joined by Ryan. Hi. What do you got today? We've got Pictomania from Czech Games Edition. Oh, I love some of the games these guys do. Yes, they're pretty interesting. Yeah. So, uh, if show it off on camera here, this is actually a game that released in 2011, but this is the second edition, which kind of... So, uh, it's new version here. Indeed. So, it uh, tightens up some of the uh, cards uh, with some of the words on them and mm -hmm. makes everything a little bit more accessible and a little bit more streamlined. Okay. Uh, let's dive straight into the box. Yeah. So, we get our rules. Yes. Uh, this is another one that's for eight years and up. It's mm -hmm. three to six players and plays 30 to 45 minutes. Indeed. So what I like about uh, their rule books is that the first two pages give a very brief overview of what the feel of the game is like, and it gives a really good uh, and uh, accurate representation of what that's like, and it's very enticing as a kind mm -hmm. of intro to a rule book. Yeah. I like the way they're laying this out, because you're going from that overview to here is your initial setup, mm -hmm. and then from there... Just straight into your first round. Mm -hmm. Some companies I have noticed through the years, their the layouts for the rulebooks are not great. These mm -hmm. guys do it fabulously yeah. every time. I mean, yeah. like I picked up code names a little while back. Yes, I was through the rulebook in five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a simple game, um, but what they're doing with word games is quite interesting. Over at Czech mm -hmm. Games Edition, so they have a few titles that are essentially just like mashing genres together, and it it works. So what they're doing fusion. Fusion yeah, games? so with Trap Words, they were doing kind of dungeon delving with the word game, mm -hmm. and then with Pictomania, they're taking the drawing game uh, they might have from Pictionary. Yeah. Um, and they're connecting oh, that's that. an old family one. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, and they're connecting that with the word game as well. But it's interesting because, well, it's interesting because word games are so, are kind of an untapped mine, mm -hmm. really. And uh, what, they, what they do in games is just really interesting because it's how you interpret things. So mm -hmm. it's that. It's that conundrum with uh, Dixit is that it's almost instant or infinitely replayable because mm. how people interpret things uh, varies widely. Mm. So, uh, so it is the same with Pictomania, I believe. Yeah, it's also the same with Codenames itself because people will describe things in very different ways, oh, taking yeah. a picture into words. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. All right, uh, components then. So we get a set of six coloring pencils. Mm -hmm are colored pencils, mm -hmm. because they are regular pencils, looking down here. Yes. It's all just regular they're, lead. They're all regular pencils, so each player can select whichever color they like, whether it's blue or orange or green. Mm -hmm. And that, I assume, is just their player color for the that, game. That's their player color. They get uh, scoring tokens of the same mm -hmm. um, color, and then voting, or sorry, guessing cards of the same color as well. Ah, OK, so guessing cards. Mm -hmm. so, and some stickers. And some stickers. Okay, so let's say I was the orange player. Mm -hmm. So it's just one, two, three, four, and it's really easy to see. Mm -hmm. Are they double sided? Or no, they're not. Tick, tick, tick. No, no. So you're going to be placing your guessing cards down upon uh, a another person's drawing mm -hmm. uh, or to the side of that drawing to see which word uh, you think that they were drawing. I see. So we will all see this then. We will all see this. So uh, if you want to. Open, open that up there. Uh, what you have here when you're uh, when you're playing the game, mm -hmm. uh, you'll have this standee, uh -huh. and you will place three cards down on it. And okay. each card has uh, seven words on it, but they're seven words that link in some way, or they're very similar. So if I read this first one up, uh, it says back, spine, backbone, vertebra, vertebrate, invertebrate, and spineless. And so uh, you have uh, very similar words that you have to differentiate in your drawing. Uh, and then you have, in the middle one, you have free freestyle, swimming, backstroke, butterfly stroke, dog paddle, uh, tread water, drowning, scuba diving. Mm. So you have to, with, with a, a very rough drawing, you have to draw what you're supposed to be drawing, mm -hmm. but not making it as obvious so that it'll get guessed correctly. Ah. So you're trying to... But you're also simultaneously trying to guess what other people are drawing, and everybody is, uh, their words are within those three cards, so you have to guess the right one. See, all right, I'm going to be very boring for a second. <laughs> There's a small piece of design in this box that I quite like. Mm -hmm. What's the most annoying thing getting out of the box sometimes for board games? Oh, the token sheets. Yeah, yeah. They've actually designed these with just Ooh. a little nip out the side. You're right, that's boring, but it is. I appreciate that. I very it's, much appreciate that. <laughs> it's just that little bit of, I don't know how you would describe that. 
But yeah, you've got all of your, your scoring tokens in here as well, mm -hmm. all color-coded. Yeah, it's just good material design. It's mm -hmm. good uh, token design. Yeah, you also get a pencil sharpener. It's nice that they've ah, thought cool. of that, because yeah. how many times have you got a game that needs pens or pencils? You don't get pens or pencils, or you get the pencils, but no pencil sharpener. Yeah, yeah. And we then have our drawing pad. Yep, uh, so quite a big one, so. Yeah, it's pretty thick. You'll be able to play this for a good long time before having to break out the A4. Absolutely, but the, the pad is not... That does not limit the amount of games that you can play because it's just a blank sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. So if if you've played this game to death, then you can get regular yeah. A4 paper, I'm sure. Uh, I'm gonna have a little fun with this, Ryan. Uh huh. So let's sharpen two pencils. Okay. I'll pick a, a sheet and draw something off it. You pick a sheet and draw something off it. Okay. All right. So I will give you <laughs> this. I've got an easy one. I say easy. Well, we have to do it so that the other person might guess wrong. Yeah. Kind of. Um, you're so, kind of guessing the number. You're not guessing the card, but... Um, uh, pop that there. Not oh, make a mess. Thank you. Oh, is there... Ah, oh, I have to show. <laughs> okay, let me see. What do I want to do here? You don't get any points for drawing a penis, Justin. Did you, I'm not <laughs> doing that! <laughs> oh, I've made a super mess. I haven't even started drawing him. I'm making a ridiculous mess. Well, seeing you're the better artist than me, have a look at this, folks. Oh dear. What have you. What so have there's you done? your card for you to guess. And I've marked what I've drawn on this one. But it's an animal inside. <laughs> Is that an animal? So it couldn't be. But it's. I'm thinking of a brand. Yes. Is it. Is it Hellman's Mayonnaise? No. No? No. It's mustard. Mustard? English mustard. It's the cow on it. Oh, okay. That's not a cow. I know. It looks more like a crap dog. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, so I had to guess within ketchup and all sorts of condiments. Exactly. That's, that's where my head was at to try and make you guess. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> okay. Good luck. So there's lots of different uh, sightseeing locations uh, okay. across the world. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Well, Again... This... You see, here's the thing. It's either six or seven. Mm -hmm. And just because I know the design of it, I'm going to say it's the Golden Gate Bridge. It is supposed to be the London Bridge. Uh, Damn it! The, yeah. Oh, wait. Was I thinking of the Tower Bridge? Oh. L ah. <laughs> okay, so wrong. Uh, but by my London own Bridge would be Tower Bridge. You could say that is it? easily yeah. to connect to. I, I would say, yeah. I lived in London. I should know that. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could have a lot of fun with this. That's I it. think you and your mates could sit down, and if, if mm. you're if you have someone who's good at drawing, mm -hmm. and someone who's crap at drawing, could be hilarious. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, you're kind of trying to be the first one to guess uh, everybody's uh, everybody's drawing, mm -hmm. whilst also finish your finishing your own drawing, and then hoping it kind of mm. uh, it kind of hides yeah. amongst. And I'm noticing there's only three of the six colors out at a time. So are only three people drawing at a time? Oh, no, so uh, there's different levels. Ah. So we just picked out randomly cards that you could draw. But, okay. um, so three cards of the same colour will come out. And then, I see. Uh, and then in the third and the second round, you'll get another colour of cards. I see, so it progressively round. gets more complex mm -hmm. what you're drawing. So I think the red card, I don't, the difference between vertebra and vertebrate? Whew, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. or invertebrate. Indeed. So you, you could draw a slug and a fly. Yes. Or a slug and something else. Yeah. Uh, are all insects invertebrates? I don't know. I'm not even going to say, because I'll, de <laughs> I'll definitely get it wrong. All right, well, everybody, tell you what, drop your comments down below. Tell us what you think of this one. I like the idea. I think it could be a lot of fun as a party game for you and your mates to sit down with. Yeah. Again, not a super huge box, so yeah. easy to carry a con, or if you're, say, traveling, yeah. set this up in the airport, and off you go. Yeah, yeah. Right, drop the comments in. We'll move on. See you again soon. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe, and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.